Well, we're going to get started. <clears throat> Good morning, all, and welcome once again to this week's edition of Upfront in Germantown. What's going on at the village and here in town? Boy, we've really got some goodies to celebrate this week. Today is National Clean Up Your Room Day. How many, how many times have y'all said that to your children? And today also is National Shrimp Day. Tuesday, we celebrate National Eat What You Want Day. And also this week, we'll celebrate National Apple Pie Day on Saturday. Also, also on Saturday, we celebrate National Armed Forces Day. And our hats are off to all the vets here at the village. A good week all the way around. Two members of the Germantown Police Department were honored recently. Officer Charlene Stimson was honored and awarded the department's 2020 Dispatcher of the Year Award, and Officer Evan Teal was named the 2020 Reserve Officer of the Year. So congratulations to both for jobs well done. We still have good news here to report as the village continues to have no new COVID-19 cases. However, we need to keep our guard up, folks, because the caseload is up in town. So wear a mask when you go out, wash your hands with soap and water often, keep six feet between people, use hand sanitizers and between hand washings. Those are mighty easy rules to follow to stay safe. We understand that there's going to be some work done by the city to improve the four-way stop at Exeter and Neshoba, and this should start very shortly. And if you're out driving around in Germantown, keep an eye out because the intersection at Poplar Estates, <coughs> excuse me, Poplar Estates and Great Oaks Road is going to be converted to a four-way stop, and this work is going forward now. So please be careful and watch for the new signage. Don't forget, GPAC is going to have all sorts of art camps in session this summer. So check the GPAC website to see what's available if you want your kids and your grandchildren involved. The second speaker in the Village Speaker Series is Jeff Calkins, storyteller extraordinaire. He will be here on Tuesday, March the 18th in the auditorium at 7.15 p.m. Make it a point to be there for a delightful evening's entertainment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thursday is Bluebird Happy Hour in the Grove at, at GPAC. Admission is free, so go out and enjoy a delightful evening. A couple of other additions this week that will be happening are here at the village. Tomorrow night on Tuesday, Dan Johnson will talk about Celebrate America, and I understand Mr. Johnson has been here before and been very well received. Thursday evening, Mark Brown, another lecture on history. And Friday night, musical entertainment with the Just Friends Band here in the auditorium. Face-to-face -face meetings have started to, once again in Germantown, and I can, can't tell you what a pleasure it is. I had my first one last Thursday, and it sure was good to see all those faces up close once again. Hopefully this will keep up. If you have a spot in the village garden and don't have it planted yet, you're missing out. The last few days of rain have really helped and the plants are really beginning to come out. Several new businesses is op have opened recently in town. They are Styles by Sheila in the old Charlton Hair Design location. The Lucky Foot Spa reopened under new ownership. Blooming Nutrition will open in June in the Farmington Center, and W Advisors is now open at 2289 West Street. There'll be other new openings as spring and summer progresses. Stay tuned. 
I believe the last bingo game was very well received, and the next bingo game here in the auditorium is scheduled on May the 17th. And another don't forget item, once again, is Mark Brown's history lesson, lecture this Thursday here in the auditorium. If you have questions about the Village Charitable Trust, contact Ken Plunk or Dan Norton who can answer all those questions. And if you want to know more about the Village Veterans Memorial, just ask Dave Olinger or John Crosness. They too can answer all your questions. The rules, once again, folks, are simple. Wash your hands often with soap and water. Wear your mask when you go out. Keep six feet between people and use hand sanitizers in between your hand washings. Easy enough to stay safe. Thanks for your time again today, and that's it for another week. Have a great day, and we'll see you next Monday. Same time, same place. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.